Okay, let's move on. You know, the executive order for shelter in place began March 20th in Illinois and March 23rd for Indiana, resulting in schools, gyms, health clubs, and parks to suspend operations for the last several weeks. Now, without those resources, people have become inactive or aren't training at their previous level prior to shutdown. I know it's happened in my case. And this could create a possible post-quarantine-induced injury. Let's bring on a gentleman from Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy, a clinical director out of their Winfield facility. This is Cody Blue joining us here now on Sports Medicine Weekly. Cody, how are you this morning? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Well, appreciate it. So um, let's get into this. Um, You know, you bring up a good point here with... um, You know, what I just read about uh, the post-quarantine injuries, what are common injuries being seen now that gyms are beginning to to reopen and people are becoming more active? Yeah, so this is going to be a very interesting time. We're kind of seeing like the uh, New Year's resolutions crowd part two, uh, only now these are people that have already been active and uh, weren't being able to be as active or work out, and then now returning back to that. So some of the things we're seeing are, you know, having shoulder pain, rotator cuff uh, injuries, if they're doing a lot of overhead lifting, maybe some lower back and neck strains from deadlifting or squatting, some calf hamstring strains, uh, pain around the kneecap if they're doing a lot of lunges, you know, pulling their groin or hip flexors, doing sprints, just something that they had been doing in the past but maybe uh, haven't trained or have, you know, taken a very long time uh, during the quarantine rest. Yeah, again, uh, Cody, what what are we doing? Um, you know, we're doing a phased-in reopening of the states now, maybe Indiana a little bit ahead of Illinois, but uh, you know, how do you effectively phase in physical activity? What would you suggest for, for our listeners? So I think the first thing you need to do is to make a plan and then set realistic goals. Um, and, and just understand that you may not be as strong or as flexible as you were before um, taking a break after the gyms and schools have shut down. And then, you know, start slowly and then just gradually increase, you know, your resistance or your, the intensity each week as you, you know, continue with your training program. And I would like to incorporate, you know, some full body, body exercises and include different activities. So, like, we talk about cross training. So, like, going for bike rides, then swimming, you know, walking or jogging, doing some yoga, anything that's going to reduce uh, stress on the joints so that way you're not overloading one specific muscle group or one specific a specific joint, and then also incorporate uh, a stretching routine if you haven't done it already. Yeah, that's the hard part is always that stretching. Again, we're visiting with Cody Blue. Cody is the clinical director for Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy in their Winfield facility. Uh, Cody, tell me more about Ivy Rehab. Um, You guys have really, uh, boy, gotten on the scene. And uh, how many locations now? And uh, how about in the Chicago area? So we have uh, over 220 located nationwide in between, you know, the East Coast. We have some uh, over 16 in between Illinois and Indiana. There's two located in Northwest Indiana, which I'm at the Winfield one. Uh, we're about an hour away from Chicago. And what are you seeing with some of your patients as, uh, you know, we talk about trying to return to sport here and exercise. I, I you see seeing people come in who have not worked out and all of a sudden they're trying to do it too quickly? Right, yeah. Um, So the biggest thing that I would maybe caution against is returning back to whatever it is, your sport or going back to the gym uh, and and thinking that you're going to be back at the previous training levels and and you're going back uh, hardcore, you're doing all your previous weight or your previous reps. And, you know, I really wouldn't recommend that off the get-go. Like we talked about doing a slow start back up. Um, Right now I'm treating a, a male who started playing basketball again and and going back on regular running routines and uh, he's having some more knee pain. So uh, we're looking at, you know, not only his knee, but what's his hip flexibility, you know, what's his ankle doing. So really you just have to kind of look at the whole picture because oftentimes uh, if it's not trauma related, you know, the the site of pain is not always uh, the culprit. That tends to be the victim. So uh, that's again, once, you know, doing full body exercises and not just doing, you know, single exercises. Cody, uh, again, Cody Blue's our guest, clinical director, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy. Have you guys been doing any uh, telehealth? Yep, yeah. So we've remained open throughout the whole uh, quarantine shutdown. We've been doing both a blend of 
you know, in clinic visits by abiding by CDC guidelines, wearing our protective equipment, you know, maintaining social distancing. And then we've also uh, done some telehealth patients. And then uh, we have a couple of clinicians that are doing the in-home, uh, outpatient in-the-home uh, visits too. And final question, Cody, um, how can physical therapy provide a role to avoid a, a post-quarantine induced injury? Yeah, right. So a big part of it is education. So, you know, making sure that the individual knows how to move with proper lifting mechanics. Um, we can offer injury screenings. We can do either, you know, the selective functional movement assessment, um, the functional movement screen to check for any kind of mobility deficits, any, uh, you know, muscle imbalances. So that way, when you go to start working out or go to load, uh, increase your resistance that you're not going to set yourself up for failure because, you know, something is, like I said, weaker or you're, you know, kind of have some tight muscles, so to say. Um, so you already took a very long time of inactivity. We don't want to see you have to sit out um, even longer due to an injury. Great stuff. Uh, their website is ivyrehab.com, I-V-Y. R-E-H-A-B, and our guest, Cody Blue, Clinical Director. So, Cody, hey, thanks a lot for uh, joining us here on Sports Medicine Weekly. Uh, you guys do a, a great job. You're, you're you know, really uh, influential now in the uh, Chicago area and really uh, expanding throughout the country. So uh, continued success, and thanks for joining us here on Sports Medicine Weekly. Thank you. It's been an honor and a pleasure, Steve. All righty, that's Cody Blue with Ivy Rehab. And when we come back here on Sports Medicine Weekly, I'm going to go through our Ask the Doctor segment as Dr. Brian Cole uh, answers some of the questions from some of our listeners. Got some good ones today, so stay with us. It's Sports Medicine Weekly, only on 670 The Score. <laughs> 